All right, so we're gonna combine all of the skills that we've learned so far to create a text adventure game that actually draws out the path that we are traveling on. So it's gonna go from left to right in our game here, and basically what's gonna happen is you're gonna ask the user, would you like to go left or right? They're gonna make a decision, either to go left or right. Based on their decision, we're going to draw that path on the screen and then do something to the character. Now, I'm gonna warn you here, this is not a copy exactly the code that I have right now and you'll have a complete game. This is a template. This is just a starter file so that you can expand on it with your newfound skills. Mostly because I don't want to just give you everything so that everybody's text adventure game is the same. I want you guys to build an amazing text adventure game. Game. So I'm going to just let you loose with just this basic template and let you come up with the craziness that you're going to add into it. All right, so the first thing we need to do is, well, we're going to be drawing, so we need to import the turtle. So I'm just going to do that right off the bat, import turtle, and then I'm going to go ahead and create my turtle. I always like calling my turtle Calvin. I don't know why. It's just something that's stuck in my head and I can't get away from it. All right, now we're going to create two functions. We've created these functions before in the skills videos, but we're going to create a turn right function and a turn left function. If you want to create a uh, go back function, a go forward function, by all means, please, please, please create those. I'm just going to show you how to make a turn right and turn left. It's up to you to make the rest of them. So I'm going to define a function called turn right. Doesn't take any parameters, but you could. This would be a good spot to put in some parameters. Um, let's go ahead and make Calvin. He's going to, uh, right off the bat, go to the right. Um, I'm just going to have him go right 30 degrees, not a complete 90 degrees, but it's up to you. You can make him go. Um, Turn as sharp as you want. Then I'm going to have him go forward. I'm going to go forward. You get the drill. You've kind of done this before. And I'm going to have him go forward 50. Um, play with this number. The screen's kind of small, so maybe don't make him go as far. Maybe make him go 40 or 30. But I like 50 because it's easy for you guys to see. And then I'm just going to do this exact same thing. Copy. Paste. And I'm going to make him go turn left. And then this is going to be changed to left. Cool. So I have two functions here. I have my turn right function and my turn left function. These are going to be called inside of my um, play function that I'm going to create next. So just make sure you're all cut up. We have turtle, created the turtle, and we've created two functions. You're going to create two more, one that's go straight and one that's turn back. Go ahead and create those now and then move into the next piece of the code that I type. So yours should have four turning functions. Okay, now I'm gonna define a new function. It's called play. This one is going to take some parameters. It's going to take a health parameter and a power parameter. We've done these before um, in another video. So these should be semi-familiar to you. Um, if not, go ahead and go back and watch that skill video. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and print out right off the bat, print out their health. And again, remember we're adding or we're concatenating a variable that holds a number. So we're going to use commas for that. And then we're going to also print out their uh, power, which is their attack power. And that is going to be power. Again, commas, because we are using um, variables or parameters that hold numbers. All right. Now, after we've done that, we want to go ahead and ask them to pick a direction. So new variable called direction, and it's going to be some raw underscore input. You know the drill here, nothing new. And uh, would you like to go left or right? Make sure you spell left or right here the same way that you want the user to spell it. So if you want them to use capital R's and capital L's, put those in here. And of course, if you have that straight and back functions, uh, go ahead and put straight and back in there as well. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and measure which direction. We're going to compare which direction that they chose. Um, if they chose right, well, then we're going to go ahead and print out um, something that happens to them if they go to the right. Um, for me, I'm just going to say, uh, you went right. Do not write this. Do not write, you went right. If I see that on the showcase, I'm going to, well, I can't downvote your project, but come on, be more creative than that. Put something like you encountered a dragon and he did 10 damage to you or something different in here. Again, I'm not telling you exactly what to type. I'm telling you kind of where you should go with this. All right. And then we're going to fire the turn right function because, well, they chose right. So we want to fire the turn right function. And then we're going to do an LF and we're going to read whether or not the direction they entered in was left. Again, you will have more than two of these. But for me, I just have two. Uh, we're going to print out 
you went left, and then of course fire the turn left function. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and do our else in here, and then we're gonna go ahead and in our else, we're just gonna refire the play function so that it refires back up here. Um, ooh, but we need to put some parameters in here. Okay, so if they don't type something correct, then we're gonna go ahead and um, fire a play function, but we're gonna go ahead and give them their same health and same power that they started with. No, you know what? If you don't pick a direction, you stand there, you get bored, and you lose 10 health. <laughs> All right, and now we're just gonna go back to the front and we're gonna go ahead and call our play function. They're gonna start out with 100 health and 50 power. All right, so again, this is just a template. This is just something for you to follow along with to start your game. Your game is going to be better than this. It should be better than this. It better be better than this because I'm not very good at this. You are way more creative at telling stories than I am. Let's go ahead and run our code. So we see down here, so this right here is where uh, the turtle is going to do its drawing. This right here is the command. Let's go ahead and say right, and you can see, hey, there we go. The turtle started and it drew the path to the right. Now, of course, I didn't then also do another if statement. I just have one in there. So I just have this once. You're gonna need it to do it more than once. So copy and paste it, make a full-fledged adventure game, maybe, and this is, I'm getting crazy here, maybe if they suffer damage, change the color of the turtle to reflect how much damage they've taken. Uh, make sure you put in those uh, text faces that we were talking about when they get into a fight and all of that. This is a template. This is just to get you started. This should take you a while to build a full-fledged text adventure game. I better look in the showcase and have my mind blown, and I know you guys can do it. Blow my mind on the showcase and build something amazing with this template.